I'm going to check plot this thing, so I will go ahead and print it. You will do the same later. Okay, so plot this, uh, continue single sheet. Um, oh, here's a little tip on, on plotting. We've been pretty much setting up the printer plotter every time, right? That's so that you could kind of get practice. But if you know exactly what the print process is going to be, like all of these sheets are going to be um, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and all. So um, we should just kind of pretty much prep for that already and save ourselves a little bit of um, steps. So if I say plot, um, we'll put the plotter name as AutoCAD PDF because we should always print to PDF before we send it to the print, printer, physical printer. Um, we're going to set our uh, paper size to ANSI A, which is 8.5 by 11. Um, I wonder if there's stuff that says letter. Okay, on some of the other settings, it'll just say letter. But since it is 8.5 by 11, that's okay. Um, what to print? Layout. I guess we'll put windows since I know I want to select the space. So select that to that, and that is my new layout or new printable area. If I check this preview a little bit, I notice that the little red uh, line is saying that that part is not fitting onto my piece of paper. So I come down here to where it says center the plot. I will center the plot, put a check in there. That, that way the center of the paper or center of that sheet that I made up will be center of the sheet of the plot which means that all around a little bit will be taken off, not just on one, on one or two sides. And the printable space is almost, wow, almost half inch, geez. Okay. Um, and then uh, we don't do fit to paper. Since the scale has already been set in the layout, we'll keep it as one to one. And the viewport has been set to a scale, so we'll keep it one to one. Um, it will be a landscape format, and I'll preview this thing so uh, I get exactly what I want to see. And notice that it is in color, so I, I don't really want that in color. So I'll go back to the plot style. Okay, we have been using monochrome all this time, so we will use monochrome for this one. We will, um, I will ask you to put a different uh, pen style in there a little bit later when we do our prints, so um, keep that in mind. For, but for now, we'll put it as monochrome. All the quality, normal, blah, blah, I guess that's all okay. And then preview it, and that is what I'm going to get. Could zoom in, you can kind of see the line weights preview, but of course this is a computer screen, so it is whatever pixel width that we have, whatever resolution that we have, that's going to just show. But you can kind of see different line weights on there, so I think it's going to be okay. Okay, um, I'll hit enter or escape and get me back to the plot uh, dialog box. So after we set this up, and I don't want to do it over and over and over, we could just go to this button right here, apply to layout. So when I do that, it will, even if I cancel, this is going to be my new plot area. All the plot setting that I placed on there should be kept. So if I say plot again, all of that setting, the AutoCAD PDF, ANSI, by window, um, monochrome, all that setting has been kept. Of course, you notice that the, this button apply to layout has been uh, darkened out, shaded out. That is because I'm not changing anything. As soon as I change something, it will highlight again. Okay, so if I want to change something, I'll change something and then apply that to the layout. Preview. Okay, so apply that to layout and that's going to keep all that setting. And then I'm going to say, okay, if I like that and I will print. <coughs> I should save it to today's date. 
which is what, 17th? And put it onto the my drive, which is there. And save. Okay. And of course, that gives me my um, gives me my drawing. Of course, I really can't tell if this is going to look right when I print it out. So I will proceed to go print this thing out. Print um, to the eight and a half by eleven. Um, Remember, please put it into the grayscale if you want to save a little bit of change. And then um, actual size, because we want this, we don't want the scale of this thing to change any. And go to the orientation, check the orientation, auto rotate is fine. Page setup, I don't really need to do any of that, so go ahead and print. And that should have gone to the physical printer, which I'll grab, and then we'll reevaluate the um, actual plots.